In this episode of Coming Soon to Cincinnati, President Biden joins forces with the feds to approve a $1.6 billion transportation effort to improve the Brent Spence Bridge, one of the most traveled routes between Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. The $60 million graphite hotel project in Oakley seems to be moving forward and also downtown Cincinnati, the Duke Energy Center. It may be getting a $200 million upgrade, improving the already thriving downtown area surrounding it. We're covering all of this right now. What's up, it's Victor Fam, your Cincinnati Realtor. If this is your first time to the channel here, we talk about all things Cincinnati. We talk about all things related to real estate in Cincinnati. So if you wanna know what it's like to live, work, eat, play, and chill in Cincinnati, in the Cincinnati suburbs, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, that way you don't miss anything new. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic. So the Brent Sprints Bridge is one of the main bridges that connects Cincinnati to Northern Kentucky. It was desperately in need of a renovation already and matters were made worse back in 2020 when a semi truck carrying potassium hydroxide crashed and caught on fire, burning on the bridge for nearly two hours, causing some considerable damage to the bridge's infrastructure. They had the bridge shut down for about nine months after that, reinforcing the bridge's structure. President Biden was recently at the bridge accompanied by U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown and some other federal officials where it was announced that $1.6 billion is going into building a bridge right next to the existing bridge as well as making some additional improvements to the Brent Sprint. So that's a positive being that it will create more routes for commuters back and forth between Northern Kentucky and Cincinnati, but there are some negative things too. Depending on where they decide to put the new bridge, there may be some people that are pushed out of their homes and businesses. There are lots of residents and businesses on both sides of the riverbank. So if they decide the best place to run the bridge happens to run through a business area or a residential area, guess what? Those people gotta go. It sucks, but they can push them out. It's called eminent domain, which basically means that if the government is building something that is for public use, and they need the land that you occupy well you lose you gotta go but they do pay you so i don't think they have decided yet where they want the bridge to run through but cincinnati and northern kentucky residents will find out in due time hopefully it doesn't disrupt the lives of too many people Oakley is one of the most desirable neighborhoods in Cincinnati. Graphite Apartments is moving forward with its $59 million apartment construction. With Oakley being one of the most conveniently located, diverse, and bustling areas in the city, it makes for a great place to slap another few hundred apartment units. You got a Planet Fitness, a sport a gym, and a Crunch Fitness all in the same block an array of restaurants, dining and shopping, luxury apartments and continual development opportunities happening all the time in Oakley. So the area just has so much momentum and it does not look like it's gonna slow down at all. 316 units is the projection actually and they are planning to have the first units ready to go sometime next summer. And lastly, 3CDC, one of Cincinnati's biggest developers, announced that it wants to build a convention district near the Duke Energy Center downtown, which will include a $200 million renovation to the Duke Energy Center itself. And the center is host to some of the biggest events and conventions in the city for big companies and corporations. Duke Energy is like the go-to for companies hosting very big events, whether they be entertainment or business. We really want to make this building attractive, functional, flexible, and green, and make sure it lasts for a long time and is competitive. Recommend closing um, Elm Street, and but it could be opened as needed, but the, that would be the exception rather than the rule. And a plan to build a new 800-room hotel on the current 4th Street parking lot. It's a tall and costly order, and how it'll be funded is still in question. So this is pretty big for the city and the downtown area that's already booming. I'll follow that story and see what the plans are for this and if they continue to push to make this happen. 
If you're thinking about making a move to Cincinnati and maybe buying a home here or selling a home or investing in a home here, feel free to reach out to me. More than happy to have a conversation with you. If you want to watch some more cool videos on what it's like living in Cincinnati, Ohio, check out these videos right over here. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic.